We thought that we were leaving her there in good hands. It was almost a perfect crime. We had a rogue employee in the facility purposefully hurting people. We sat in a courtroom with a serial killer. The DeVita Dialysis Center in Lufkin is a lifeline for so many in need of medical saving. A lifeline Nurse Kimberly Signs tapped into and exploited. They weren't killed by an enemy. This was the person who was supposed to be taking care of them. After being fired from at least four healthcare jobs, Signs started at DeVita in August of 2007. She was a medication nurse and occasionally connected patients to their dialysis lines and attended to their needs during treatment. She didn't like that. It's a lot more work. She, I believe, perceived it as beneath her. On April 1st, she was assigned that position, and on April 1st, her killing spree began. Her first two victims, Clara Strange and Thelma Metcalf, both were found unresponsive within 30 minutes of each other and died at the hospital. At the time, no one knew why, but after her death, Metcalf's husband spoke to KETK, demanding answers from the clinic. Now, our primary doctor kept saying, I don't understand why she went down so fast. I traveled to Beaumont to speak with Chris Totoris, one of the prosecutors in the case. They are less likely to die while being dialyzed because they're getting healthier. He explained that in the following weeks, three more patients would die under Sign's care. Cora Bryant, Opal Few, and Garland Kelly. When his bloodline was taken, there was a syringe hanging from his bloodline that had bleach in it. These evidence photos obtained exclusively by KETK News showing the syringe. Five other patients would be injured. Everybody was attempting to figure out what was going on. And they were looking at older patients who had all the signs of a heart attack. Four weeks later, the devil and DeVita's killing spree came to an end. Two patients witnessed signs inject bleach into an IV line. Pour some bleach into that bucket and then draw some bleach into a syringe. That patient, Carolyn Reisinger, started flopping in her chair and felt hot. A test later confirmed that bleach was in her line. DeVita told signs what the patient saw and sent her home for the day. The clinic, not knowing the extent of what she had been doing, temporarily shut down. Employees were spoken with about the strange occurrences that had been going on with patients. One person who did not show up, Kimberly Signs. Just the last time you were at work was... This interview between Lufkin police and Signs has never been seen by the public before now. This was the day after she was caught. Monday, no, Monday was my last day at work. She not only rambled throughout the process, but told police she was anxious working at the clinic and denied the allegations against her. What hurts me the most is for two patients to accuse me of giving uh, another patient's medication that was not ordered. And as you hear, things start to turn. She begins to slur her words. I readjusted her trester, her tr blood pressure kit. Investigators discovered signs took drugs before the interview. Do you think that she took drugs just to get out of having to do an interview with authorities? I think she took drugs because she was really nervous about what she was going to say. Later that night, Signs was arrested for public intoxication. Investigators began collecting containers from inside DeVita. They found old dialysis lines and syringes. Start testing the Sharps containers and they start testing positive for bleach. She also made a disturbing Google search the day after her first two patients died. Can bleach be detected in a dialysis line? At that time, nobody had even considered bleach. Signs was arrested and charged with murder. Four years later, her case went to trial. We were very concerned that she was going to walk. Trying a medical case is extremely difficult, but with the witnesses and evidence, the prosecution felt confident. The first date was overwhelming. Gail Brazel was among the 12 to decide Sign's fate. We, we watched her during the trial. Um, she was always seemed to be in a good mood. Joking, laughing, unconcerned initially about the case. As the trial went on, the full picture became clear. A, mm -hmm. a, a silent poll. Most of us were, we wrote guilty. We really wanted her to be innocent. 
but at the same time, we knew she was guilty. Signs was given life without parole. Kim Signs didn't want death by injection, but in fact, it's exactly what she administered to five people. Her never getting out of that prison other than in a box. Today, her actions and the trial still weigh heavily on those who watched it unfold. Do you still, I mean, do you still think about it? I do, I do. I do still think about her. It, it, was a, it was a sad feeling knowing that this lady has just done all, killed these people, injured these people, and now she's not going to see her kids grow up. A burden on Sign's family and the families her victims left behind.